Guys, I'm on the beach. It's a little windy, so I apologize for any wind noise. What I wanna do is today I wanna take a look at the iPhone XS or XS. I wanna see how the photography and the video compare to the Canon 80D. And I'm gonna use a EFS 17-55 2.8 lens. Let's see exactly how good this iPhone really is. There's a lot of hype going on with the camera coming from the manufacturer and some others. Let's see if it can really, really get the job done. This is gonna be my first shot. It's going down the side of the jetty. Nice blue ocean, nice blue sky. And we'll get the rocks and the sand as a foreground. Shoot vertical. And right now, my settings are pretty good on the uh, on the Canon 80D. We're, look, we're looking at ISO 100, F11, 320 shutter speed. I'm focusing on the end of the rocks where the waves are splashing. Okay, so we're doing this just right out of the camera. I'm gonna focus in the same spot. And we're gonna let the iPhone work its magic. So what you need to remember is that the iPhone uses computational photography to produce its images. So it does some processing quite a bit in editing uh, of the photo that you're looking at. The Canon 80D was a user-defined log and it was plus one sharpness, plus one contrast, and zero as far as saturation. But I think the first thing that comes to mind when you're comparing these two is wow. They've really done an excellent job at getting this iPhone XS camera up to you know a very high standard and I, I'm very impressed with it. So I want you to notice the sharpness of the iPhone video and then notice the color of the Canon 80D video. This is a really popular spot around here for sunset shots because the sun is basically due west right behind that lighthouse. So we're going to same setup, same lens, same equipment. Let's see what we can do as far as this scene. I'm gonna adjust the exposure just a little bit because we're a little darker over here. So we're going shutter speed of 250, aperture of 11, ISO 100. And this is another great comparison. I think you see here the Canon 80D, the color is really making a big difference when, it, when we're talking about a photo or a video straight out of camera. But again, the processing that's already being done through computational photography on the iPhone produces a much sharper video or picture. One last test, excuse me if I'm sweating, it is hot out here. We're gonna take a little bit of a low light uh, situation on this trail back here. And we're gonna see how the iPhone handles the change in light versus the, uh, the Canon 80D. We'll do a, two photos and we'll do a video. And the video I think will really be telling. Let's see if this iPhone's all they make it out to be. Shutter speed 160, aperture 7.1, ISO 100, vertical. Let's give the iPhone a chance. My first thought was, wow, the iPhone does a really good job with its dynamic range. It really brings those shadows up and it handles the highlights balanced with the shadows really, really well. The Canon 80D, you can see this is an unprocessed image, so it's not gonna be as sharp, but the color is still natural and it's beautiful, and that's what Canon's known for. Now here you're gonna see an image where the Canon uh, photo on the right was processed just slightly inside of Photoshop to bring up the shadows and kind of balance out the highlights. Didn't really do anything else to it except add a slight sharpness, and you can see the differences here. 
Let's zoom in for a little pixel peeping and you can see the differences in softness and noise. The iPhone again handles itself really well. So I think the bottom line is the iPhone has an amazing camera and you should not fear using it for video or photography from any level unless you're a professional photographer trying to get the ultimate shots and we're comparing it against a full frame camera. It's going to be really hard for the iPhone to compete in that arena, but I think what we're seeing is computational photography is on the rise. And that means, are we going to start seeing it in DSLR cameras or mirrorless cameras? It's very possible. With the technology advancing the way that it is, we could start seeing some really powerful processors being put into these cameras so that they can compete with the iPhone and other phones that are doing the same stuff.